Welcome to Life is Jort. This week we're going to be talking about how we prepared for bus life. Paying off all of our debt. First we had to get rid of our student loans. This took us an entire year just to pay off these loans. So how did we do it in just one year? Well, Kelsey worked two full-time jobs about 70 hours a week. I had my own business and did everything I could to make as much money as possible within it. So the reason we decided to pay off our debt before hitting the road was just because we weren't going to have secure online jobs while we're on the road. We were just gonna pick up work along the way when we needed it. So not having any debt made it possible for us to travel longer um, without having to stop for work. The next thing we did was minimize our expenses. We did things like live with her parents, live with my parents, so that we were paying very little to no rent during this time. Another thing we did that really cut down on our expenses was we rarely went out to eat. This was a huge savings point for us. We stuck to a reasonable food budget that was doable but was definitely less than most people lived off of. Saving money for our bus build. After our debt was paid off, we started saving money. We stuck to a tight budget, just like we did while we were paying off our debt. That way, we could put money towards the things that we wanted in the bus build. We sold basically everything that we owned, which really wasn't much, but it definitely added to our savings. After we decided to buy the bus and hit the road as soon as possible, I shut down my business and sold all my equipment so that I could work on the bus full time. Doing this allowed me to continue to pay myself and work on the bus for six to seven months without having to work a job. Becoming minimalists before we moved into the bus. Whether you like it or not, moving into a bus will make you a minimalist. Luckily for us, I would say we were very close to being minimalists already, even before moving into our bus. We knew how to be happy with very little and knew that the things that we owned didn't define who we were. If you're considering moving into a smaller space, I would highly recommend starting to minimize your lifestyle right now so that when you do move into that small space, it's not as much of a shock. Budgeting for bus life. We had to come up with a tentative budget of how much we thought it was going to cost living on the road. We did this so that we could figure out how long the funds that we had saved would last us. You Using that math, we came up with a number that we wanted to have in our savings account before we hit the road. This is one of those things that I would highly recommend doing. Kelsey kept her job while I was building the bus. Kelsey kept working so that we could still have her income coming in while I was working on the bus. We decided to have her do this so that it could fund some of the bus build and our future travels. Some things we did to maximize our finances before Kelsey quit her job was we maximized her HSA, her health savings account, because she had an employer match. We also added to her retirement fund, which also had an employer match. Some other ways we saved money. We actually got credit cards with cash back rewards. This kind of goes against what we had just done, which was pay off all our debt, but we only use these credit cards to buy things that we were already going to be spending money on anyways. We got cash back rewards, airline miles, and discounts on gas. And then lastly, during our build, we made sure to buy quality items for our bus. We did this to minimize expenses and repairs while we were on the road. And so far, it's worked out pretty well for us. I hope this has been helpful for you if you're planning on living the nomadic lifestyle. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. We are more than happy to answer any questions you may have. For more videos like this, and to follow us on our bus life journey, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Remember, Life is short. Live accordingly.